Okay. <laughs> We're off to kind of a rocky start, but uh, yeah. This is Erica. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oops. Let's see if we can get this going. So my understanding about this game is that it is a murder mystery. Clearly a little different tone than uh, the ABC murders that we played. It's interesting in that you're controlling it with the touchpad section of the of the controller. If I've played alone, I don't know that game. Sunny, I will look it up. Is he recommending it to us? Oh, never alone. No, I don't know that game. Another fox one. <laughs> I think I might have PTSD from foxes for a little while. <laughs> uh, now what are we doing? This whole game seems to be controlled by the use of the touchpad. You can, and there was a note at the beginning of the game that said you, you could play it on your smartphone. Which actually might be easier because you'd have a bigger space to swirl your hand around. But it's an interesting use of the technology. All right, let's see. You just know what? I never know what you're going to get with an indie game. <laughs> I'll look it up, Sonny. Thank you for telling me about it. And thank him for, for telling me about it. Let me write it down. Okay. Are you ready? Mummy and I met many, many years ago in a place called Delphi House. She was a nurse. I was a doctor. At night, we'd tell each other stories. She'd tell me about the future. Wonderful things. Things only she could see. I'd tell her about the past. About a great priestess, marked with a butterfly, who could stare into the fire and see the future. I used to tell her she was magic, just like the priestess. I think you're magic too, but you're gonna have to prove it. Pick a photograph, pick your favorite. Interesting. Now, close your eyes. Focus your mind. And conjure the power of the ancient <laughs> priestess. Yeah. Now find your mom again. You always gotta See give it a chance to get going, you know, with a new game. <laughs> Turn the middle one. Okay. See, magic. 
She'll always be with you. Remember that. Even though she isn't here, she's still a part of you. Okay. Okay, what was that mark on her arm? That's interesting. If you could stare into the fire and see the future, what do you think you'd see? Oh no! I assumed it was going to be about the mom who was gone. Oh, yikes! Oh, let's see. <gasps> what? Well, we're starting off super creepy. Oh, was a dream. Okay. Right? That was really creepy. <laughs> she's having a flashback and she's older now. I hope the game isn't going to be super dark all the way through. Ew, she needs to clean her bathroom. Now she's like a teenager, maybe? Okay, clearly somebody's in the house with her. Oh, I keep forgetting the control thing. <laughs> the controls are interesting. It's all the touchpad on the PS5. What the heck is this? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be more like a, you know, like a movie style. Secure, uh, oh, definitely secure. Wait, I thought we chose secure. Oh. Uh, I think we might help. I mean, we're helpful, right? Are you okay? Just a little too much fun at the party. We've all been there, let's face it. You wake up in the morning, you got a mask face on your face. <laughs> Okay, so she's got some rather dark sketches. Oh, do I have to draw a picture? I can't draw in real life. I don't think I'm going to be any better in uh, this. <laughs> Whatever you would like to call this. <laughs> oh, the game is helping me. It's figuring out what I'm supposed to be drawing. I'm just aimlessly moving my finger around on the touchpad.
Ooh, we got a package. What did we get? Ooh, it's bloody gross. Can she not see that? Wait, how do I do it? <laughs> Ew! We couldn't see inside. It was too dark. Some... Oh! Gross! This game might be a little creepy. Oh, that's the symbol that was on her father's chest. Sergeant Blake. The lead investigator on this case. Yikes. Can I see that? I promise I'll give it back. Uh, yeah, hand it over. You draw this a lot. It's Greek, isn't it? In Delphic Epsilon. I was telling Italian too. The hand belonged to a Cal Jahar. He worked at Delphi House. I believe you visited there with your father. Uh... Her dad worked there. Did you know he co-founded Delphi House? Oh, her dad worked there, huh? With this man? Lucian Flowers? We think yep. Mr. Flowers might be a target, too. We're keeping watch over at Delphi House. Protection detail. I'll be leading the investigation from there. Right now, it's the safest place for you too. Okay. I wanted to ask all those questions. Do all those choices. Not just uh, that one. Oh, yay, daytime. I guess this is Delphi House. Oh, it was only daytime for a split second. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, that's probably right. They're probably out for a smoke. Wait here. I'll go check. So I wonder what Delphi House is, a home of paranormal people. Oh, here's a picture of her dad. What else can we look at? I don't know how to make her move or anything. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Okay. Okay. I'll be here. Oh, there's a picture of her dead mom.
Oh no, what the heck? Yikes. Wait, are we outside now? Oh, is that a fox? Erica, what are you doing? I told you to wait. That was a phone call. It was a woman. She knew who I was, she said. Inside, now. We need to find out where that call came from. Do whatever it takes. What are you doing? Get off the phone. There you go. Yeah, go on. Oh, he has the symbol. And you? I have a right to see your identification. This is a private facility here. You can't just walk in. I'm, I'm supposed to be staying here. If you'd be staying here, I wouldn't know about it. Um, look, I'll call you back. Yeah. I'm Sergeant Blake. I called this afternoon. I'm supposed to meet a Dr. Ballard. I can only apologize. We're all a bit nervous here. Sergeant Blake, I'm Rosa Ballard. I suppose you already know the Chief Inspector. Doctor, thank you. Would you mind taking Erica up to her room? I'm afraid I need to speak to the Chief Inspector. There's been a development. I suppose you don't remember me. I worked with your father. I used to look after you when you were little. You knew my parents? Of course. Your dad taught me everything I know. And your mum, she was incredible. Brilliant nurse, so smart, it's funny. Anyway, this is you. You might recognize it. Mr. Steinbeck, the night manager, will be downstairs if you need anything. Well, this game is not at all what I expected. Well, I guess she's having a flashback here. Maybe this was her dad's office or something?
Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's not enough room on the touchpad of a controller to do some of this stuff. <laughs> conceptually kind of cool to operate it this way but yeah let me get the swing of it after a bit hey last how you doing So I guess she's having, oh, uh, good. Well, that's good. That's better than yesterday, huh? Flashback here. Let's open our present. Nope, open. Is there anything creepy in here? Oh, well, that's pretty creepy. about her arm oh she has the creepy symbol she's just like you these people were like cult people or something yikes So we sort of feel like we're going to find out her parents were involved in some freakish cult or founded some freakish cult. I feel sorry for this girl. No, 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 no. Not the carpet. It's clean. Okay. <laughs> so now we're going to play Kirstie. The Floor is Lava. Kirsty, I said you can help, but I need to be with you, okay? We talked about no cleaning without supervision. What? She can't run a carpet sweeper without someone helping her? <laughs> what? Can I have one? No. Hey, 
death wish. Okay, yeah. no worries, Sunny. Don't mind her, she's got emotional problems. So, a home for wayward girls? I'm doing my best. What are you playing? This. Aria Fidelphi by, um... Some guy. I don't know. I've never heard of him. Here, take a seat, let me show you something. See this bit? I want to see if she has that mark on her arm. Oh no, we gotta learn how to play the piano. I'll do the rest. <laughs> I'm expecting everything to be a puzzle. <laughs> Good to see you. What are you doing? Here we fucking go. No, 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 no cleaning. No cleaning without supervision. Percy, it's okay. They won't mind. Yeah, me neither, no. to be honest. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not loud. Kirsty, no, 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 calm down. No. Uh oh. She didn't do anything. Uh, I think it's a murder mystery, but there's some sort of weird culty thing happening, and so this the the show starts, the game starts with this girl right here, Erica, really young, and her father gets murdered, and so far mostly that's all we know. There's some cult thing going on. They, her father and this guy here founded this place, Delphi House. Really? Like what did you think of it last? Last time we met, you could barely see over the desk. I'm Lucien Flowers. I set this place up with your father. You gave me a doll when I was little. <laughs> I hope it was the right one. Did you sleep okay? I know the old place can take a bit of getting used to. Okay. Uh... Hey, Sazzy, how are you? Do Good to see you. More about the phone call? I'm not sure, but Sergeant Blake will be joining us in a moment. He should know. I know it's very difficult for you to be here, and... Doing good. It's Playing this kind of weird game that we're just trying to figure out. We just started it. So we're in that part of the game where you don't know anything, and that's complicated. It was your father's. <laughs> your mother gave it to him on their wedding day. And the whole game is operated with the touchpad on the controller. Uh, yes, it's, it's, it's called Erica. And you do make decisions. And I, I think just... we're trying to solve her father's murder or maybe just figure out who he was. There's a, a definitely a murder mystery situation happening. Okay, this is the police detective here. The company, but there's still no news on last night's call. Oh, okay. Erica, it's extremely likely whoever killed your father killed Mr. Joha. There may be some other victims as well we don't know about. It's likely they'll try and kill again. Is there anything I can do to help? Killed Honestly, Mr. Jofa. Who is I that? Go on. But, Mr. Flowers, I've got heavy rain on my list, too. I hope you remember the face of your father's killer. 
Evidently, you can play this one on the cell on your cell phone, uh, and the whole thing is just about. I mean, the whole thing is operated by flashes, touch. Nightmares. Uh, a silhouette woman with a gun, but. It's not our usual game, but we like playing different it's weird like games that, in the morning, so we'll have to play something a little lighter and breezier next <laughs> to get over this. <laughs> I've barely started it, I already know that. Perfectly safe. What? Hesitate? Erica, please. There are too many similarities with your father's case for it to be a coincidence. Okay. If we can get a description, we can put an end to this. Okay. Okay, I'll do, I'll do it. I missed it. Did they say they wanted to hypnotize her? The images you're going to see are designed to relax you and open up your mind. Your father designed regression therapy to help our patients face their trauma. The first one is just a test. When you see it, just say whatever comes into your head. Sky. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just write it down. I know revisiting trauma can be difficult, but you're perfectly safe. Let's begin. Oops. Nature. Church. Uh, what does this say? Guilt? I can't even read some of Thanks. these. Kind of dark. Aww. Fun. Ooh. Danger. can't actually read some of these choices. You gotta go really fast. Kill. Too fast! Too fast! Ah! Okay, good. We don't have to do that anymore. Yikes, man. Wait, what? Yeah, it's freaky. All right, wait, what are we doing here? Okay. <laughs> like, I don't want to play with his nipples. <laughs> So this is some sort of butterfly thing. What was the name of the person we were supposed to remember? Anna D. Carter or something like that. You were drawing. You were drawing the whole time. What did we draw? Oh. Well, I mean, maybe that's her mother, that picture of her mother. Yeah, okay. So that makes sense. I'm not sure we're supposed to think that she's the murderer. Why did you draw her, Erica? Why did you draw your mother? Or maybe we are. That would be creepy. Uh. Your mother told me this place was her whole life. <laughs> she worked here, fell in love here, had you here. Later, she died here. Dr. Ballard suggested that I show you this. Oh, 
Putting yourself through that was incredibly brave. It's not surprising. So that that's her mom, I guess? Oh, Alady. Alady. Erica Mason. Female Caucasian, 28. Alady. Married Peter Mason. So I'm assuming this is her father's death certificate. Wait, married, where is it? What's the cause of death? It's a process, Erica. It takes time. You can't blame yourself. I want to try again. You need to rest, clear your mind. You can try again. Alady Mason, that's what it was. Ask, remember, something about find Alady Mason. I want to show you. So that was her Maybe mother? These. Pruning shears? Secateurs? Uh, shop? Okay, this is her mother's grave. Isn't that what the phone call said? Something about Alady Mason? We're we gonna find out the father killed the mother? Oh, so many questions. Uh, it lies not in our power to love or hate, for will in us is overruled by path when two are strife. What? I don't know. I can't read all that. Your father had the oleander planted in your mother's memory. Oleander's they poisonous. They've always brought us luck. Hmm. Sorry. Sometimes the girls have difficult days. But some of us like to keep it buried deep down inside. Anna, I didn't think you'd be up. I'd like this a clear explanation of what with us for a while. Delphi House we is. Need all over you this morning. I'm taking these to Doc Ballard. We're making perfume. Do you want to come? Fuck off! What is wrong with you? Oh, you could always go hang out with Toby. Actually, oh, she was the smoking girl, much. right? It's quite a spread. Why don't you go and grab yourself a bite and maybe meet some of the other girls? Maybe I should check on Toby. No worries. I guess I'll catch you around. Erica, well, it didn't give me a choice to go hang out with that flower to girl. Just remember that some of the girls here, they can be quite manipulative. Just be careful. That's all. Hmm. So now we're not going to know who to trust. What are you doing? Why are you following me? Um, I just came to see if you were okay. You want to be friends? Is that it? Hey, Sunny. Lunchtime. Come on, eat with the good girls. I'm not hungry. You're a tourist. This place has secrets. You need to be careful, or you're going to get hurt. This is like um, high school flashback, isn't it? <laughs> this place has secrets. You know, I see. You're looking for adventure. Is that it? Fine. Come with me. I think Toby might be the wrong choice. Okay, now what are we doing? Cozy, huh? Yeah. Little something. No, thank you. What is 
is it? Deadly poison. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get drunk with this girl. Or ever, period, Feel but... Your chest. Uh, sure. We want her to be friends with us. I guess we need to drink it. Or not friends, but find out what she knows. Yeah, I can see that coming a mile off. Is it true? Did someone send you that guy's hand in a box? Yeah. You're only here because you're hiding out. Yes. Wasn't your dad some sort of genius doctor? Did he really set this place up with Lucian Flower? Yes. What about your mum? Wait, we're the ones. We want to ask the questions. Why did you bring me up here? Open it. Telling you, it's a cult. Okay, see? my watch is telling me I need to get up for just a minute, so we're gonna keep playing. But I'm gonna run in place over here on the side for just a second. I used to have these weird dreams. Pink flowers falling from the sky. It's your nose bleeds, and then fits. Hmm. And then she drew that. Everybody thought she was crazy. After she died. I found that. Go on. It's gonna be back here. Oh! Creepy! Do you see that? The symbol on the bottom. It's from an old temple at a place called Delphi. What? They used to get the women, drug them out of their minds. Right? They thought they could make them see the future. The girls got sick. They had fits, seizures. What are you saying? That this place I don't is know a cult. How it sounds, but check this out. There's something behind there—a tunnel or something. Uh oh. You know how Granddaddy Flowers made his money? <laughs> By trading futures. <laughs> okay, so now we're drunk. Oh, we're going to have a really weird dream now, I bet. Too bad. What 
are we doing outside? How'd that happen? What the heck? What's going on here? <laughs> Were we dancing on rose petals? And look what the cat dragged in. Where the hell have you been? I've been looking everywhere. You've got mail. Looks expensive. Or uh, it's somebody's head in a box. So pretty. I don't think we should open it. Open it. No. Let's get the police here. <laughs> Unfortunately, the touchpad on the PlayStation is just not big enough. Who would send me this? Call the police! Oh, and she's gonna have that little mark on her arm. We you know it. Oh! Okay, we should have known better than to open that package. Oh no! Oh yeah, this was the, like, I don't know what, the guy that came down at the beginning. Fox was now you yesterday. call the police. We're still trying to get a description of the sender. Here, take a look at this. That's Carl Steinbeck's place, the night manager. Okay. Yes. What are we supposed to be doing now? <laughs> oh, exit. Got a team there now. Oh! He's missing. Yikes! So that was, that was his tattoo cut off of his arm? Why did he have that symbol of tattooed in his arm? It used to be on a sign out front. It's from the Temple of Apollo at Delphi in Greece. Creepy. Was, I thought he was creepy. Myself. Your dad thought it would be good for us, too. After he died, we took the signs down, but Carl's tattoo remained. Is he dead? There's no body. But it doesn't look good. But is the skin his? I want to ask all the questions. And then there's this. Why send the doll? Well, we did have that doll baby when we were a kid. There it is in our memory. Uh, it was a gift from Lucian. He gave it to me before my father died. Erica used to spend so much time here, there weren't any other children. I always tried to smuggle her some toys or a treat. This is one of many. I wouldn't be smiling. Back. That's creepy. I need you to have a look around. Make sure there's nothing else missing. You can grab some extra clothes. Whatever else you need. It looks like you might be here for a while. Oh, she's got to go back to her house? Okay. Take the police tape down. And our door's pretty beat, I gotta say. You okay then? <gasps> it's a 
Unlocked? Why would it be unlocked, policeman? Can we turn the lights on? Well, I guess they are on. Sorry. I'll go check if the neighbors saw anything. Yeah, that's right. So they had to have broken in here. That's right, Sonny. They had to have broken in here to get the doll. And I guess trashed the place while they were at it. Uh, okay. Oh, her picture's gone. That was the picture of her mother. Uh-oh. This is that girl in the fox mask. Police! Open the door or the door will be forced open. Wait, what? The door is about to be forced open. That seems uh, like an aggressive response to potentially a dead person in there. Uh, no, we're gonna follow, totally. Oh my goodness! What the heck? What does this girl have to do with all this weirdness? This neighbor girl? I didn't remember that. Oh, there she is. You're contaminating the crime scene. Have you never watched CSI? Law and Order, anything? Oh, this is him! This is the night manager guy. Don't look. You're safe. That was not who I expected. I wonder why he's in the neighbor's apartment. She's going to be as troubled as the rest of them by the time this is over. Hey, let's all... Come with me, now. Guess we're friends with the mean girl now. table. Look for anything that seems weird, out of place. How is this helping? We're investigating. Investigating 
is helping. Okay. Could be you in there. Or me. All right. What did you find? Petals. I see them in my sleep. Pink petals falling. Ah, oh, I do too. Oh, nosebleed. What the heck are they doing to these girls? Just like Anna. It's, it's okay. Lots of wrapped packages, too. She's gone. In this game. She's gone. Hmm, very creepy. We must have some He's answers here. Some of the evidence from the flat. Most of what we've got is back in the lab, but there's a couple of things we'd like you to look at. There's no need to worry. The chief inspector asked that we do it here. Why? Hmm. Not Delphi House. Not the station. Why aren't we doing it at the police station? You've been through enough, Erica. We just want you to be as comfortable as possible. Hmm. Suddenly I have trust issues with our detective here. Come on then. Kettle's on. Oh, so where are we? Whose house is this? Chief Inspector. What do you think? Are we close? Is that her? I guess. No, something's missing. Okay. What about this? We found it in her apartment. Oh, this is the fox girl? Hmm. And the mother. So she was a Delphi house girl, too. Her name is Mia Green. Interesting. Very she interesting. Was Delphi house. She was very close to your mother. She was very protective of her. Sometimes aggressively so. What was wrong with her? She was difficult, sometimes violent. Her childhood was extremely unpleasant. Your mother's friendship gave her great comfort. Erica. The night your mother died, Mia Green broke into the dispensary. She took an overdose and died. Oh, what the heck? But I saw her. We've filed an order with the judge to exhume the body. And until then, I'm going to have to keep you at Delphi House. Well, the plot thickens. No, no, I've got it. Blake, would you mind? Yeah, the neighbor, exactly. What the heck? Corker residence. Yes. This is Sergeant Blake. More and more and more creepiness. Right away. I've got to go. There's an intruder at Delphi House. <gasps> Come with you. What about me? It's not safe. I'm going. No, Erica. He's right. There's nothing you can do. Erica, you okay? You're bleeding. Go, go. I'll look after her. Bathroom studio. Down the hall. Can't miss it. Oh, 
I recognize that actor. I think I've seen him in various British histories. Oh, we're gonna sneak out? Is that what we're doing? I gotta say, if it were me, yeah, that'd be a no. I would be, uh, hunkering down. A fox. I'm telling you, what is with the foxes? Okay, good. I didn't want us to jump out and sneak over there. Oh no! Something happened to the chief inspector? <gasps> oh no! They should have taken her with them. That is quite horrifying. Can we spin him back around? Nope. I wonder if she's dreaming. Guess not. She certainly has a presence of mind considering what just happened and whoever might still be in the house. Oh, so that's a girl from Delphi House, isn't she? Isn't that the one who's all freaky all the time? Her dad, maybe? Uh, creepy. Oh, and he has this symbol? So he's one of them. Oh no, you left me with this guy. See, I think they're all in on it. Or, I mean, we know the other guy's a founder. <gasps> Who is it? Let me see her face. What the heck? You miss me? Who are you? You're dead. Not yet. Not like the chief inspector or the others. Steinbeck, Joha. They were in it together. I'd never hurt you. Well, that's good to know. He gave them his daughter. What? His own flesh and blood. I'm here to protect you. You ruined my life. Your father made me a monster. He took your mother and locked her away. He sold his soul to the devil and she was the price. There's another world beneath Delthy House. Secret passages and hidden doors to get you there. I gave you the medallion, the key to everything, but you gave it away. What? I think she's the one we just learned about that. But there's another. That was the protective of the mother and died, we thought died as a, of a drug overdose. The neighbor. Okay. Some sort of weird come alone. Culty thing going on here. Very creepy. <laughs> and all will be revealed. Yeah, she she's stayed. There was no one here. Just one of the girls trying to break into the pharmacy. What? 
Which girl? Toby Newman. She's got a history. Oh, no Sorry. way. They locked her up. This girl. I think the chief inspector was her father, I guess. <clears throat> So they took okay. our friend away. Is there anything I can do? She said she was dead. I saw her. She, she was right there. I don't know what to tell you. There's someone buried in her grave. We have a so team out there now. They'll run some tests and then we can be sure. Let's try and get some sleep. They don't seem to be Sophia, too worked up about the chief inspector's murder. I feel like I'm going crazy. Hey. Hey. It's okay. I don't trust this guy. No, 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 we are not doing that. And shame on you, game. <laughs> you sure she didn't say anything. None of that. Anything that could help us find her. Downstairs if you need anything. I don't trust you, buddy. <laughs> I don't trust that guy. It's not for you to know. <laughs> it doesn't seem like anything's for me to know at the moment. You just do your job and concentrate on looking after Eric no, in a proper it. fashion. A proper fashion. That's all I'm going to say to you. Okay. I want to know what happened to Hannah and Toby. It's not exactly a casual necklace that you can just keep tucked down your shirt. It looks like it's hanging on a bike chain. Okay, we gotta find one of those keyholes. It seems like the chief inspector's murder is a little bit, you know, pushed under the, like, it seems like there should be more about that. Oh, okay. That was easy. This game is so dark. I don't mean just in temp temper. I mean in, like, literally. I need to turn some lights on. Ooh, ooh, what are we seeing here? Well, this is very gothic. All these, uh, 
old creepy tunnels and things. What have we here? in a room. I did what I can, but she's not saying much. Told ya. Cook is dead. She was there. She must know more than she's telling. She's pretty shaken. If it's an act, it's a good one. See now, are we glad we didn't kiss him? This is kind of like Rosemary's baby is reminding me of. Getting scared, Sonny, admit it. Oh, turn. I can't do it. <laughs> My oh. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is... I didn't know what we were doing here. Okay, secret hatch with spider webs. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully no one else will get murdered while you're gone. <laughs> I can't even promise you that. Where are we now, I wonder? Out back of Delphi House? Trying to get a little curious how we save in this game. Trying to thinking up our exit strategy here. Maybe it'll just stop. Oh, candles in the barn. That's not safe. I have a little weird ritual going on here. Okay. Candles, rose petals, picture. What is it a picture of? How do we pick it up? Oh, it's the mother. <gasps> oh, she's out in the barn meeting that, out in the woods meeting that other woman who clearly is a little obsessed with her mother. Took me a minute to realize what was happening. Okay, what do we got in here? A lot of files. Hmm, what could this be? Just spray us with something? What the heck?
First order of business, trust no one in a murder mystery. I think she's trying to resurrect the mother. A fox. A rabbit. They seek visions of the future for wealth and power. So she why they want you. Ah. So she went out in the woods to meet that girl and that girl sprayed her something in her face and now they're having a uh, she's having visions. She's trapped, Erica. Join me. Together we can save her. So this gal told her they were, uh, what the cult is about is trying to find visions of the future so they can profit from that, and that's what they want this girl Erica for. It's you, Erica. Hey, Maruski. Back for more creepiness? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This really reminds me of Rosemary's baby. She would tell me about the future. Wonderful things that only she could see. What's happening here? Oh, okay. We're flashing back to the. Tell her about the past. About a great priestess. We seem to be moving along pretty quickly through this story, so that's good. Uh, how did I get here? Why did you bring me here? Yeah. Because this is where it all began. Your father made it. Ah, this is the perfume this is connection. Your mother. Tested it on you too. That's why they all have nosebleeds. Breathe it in, and I can make you do anything. It's how you brainwashed us and made us his slaves. Wow. Yeah. That's something I prepared earlier. Not her. Right? Oh, it's all coming together for her now. Weird culty people. Are you back to small land on your next stream, Maruski? Oleander, which is poisonous. So those aren't actually oleander petals. I'm taking these to Doc Ballard. We're making perfume. <laughs> Oh, awesome. I'm going to look forward to that. I finally made it to my first new galaxy on Sunday. What do you think it did to you? Yeah, exactly. Oh, now she has a nosebleed. Yeah, I can only pretty much only play on, you know, my days off, so I can't make it too far too fast, but... It doesn't matter. I know I'm a monster. I deserve to die. But she's taking the rest of them down with her if she can. Except for what's going on with her. Your mother had that mark. It's why your father wanted her. 
is why they want you to. A girl to stare into the flames and see the future. How do you know about the priestess and the fire? How do you think? He was one of them. See for yourself. Okay. So this farmhouse was her house where she was a little girl. I know Sonny was trying to say that a while ago and I wasn't understanding it. I just, I just, it just clicked. The penny just dropped. Your father convinced Lucian that by adding signs to ritual, they could see into the future and control it. Aha. Bunch of psychos. Your mother's alive. But she's fading. What? Without her, they're blind. Oh, and then they want to swap for this coming. girl. But who killed... Oh, this girl killed the... Fa I got him a little unclear on this. this part. We can set her free. So if this lady killed the father early on, then are we supposed to think the rest of the cult has been uh, has been carrying on with the mother locked up someplace ever since? Now they want to swap out the mother for the daughter. let him live he'll raise the alarm what no way you've already killed a whole bunch of people you do it plus why can't we just uh, tie him up and gag him that seemed extreme Okay, are we back at Delphi House now? So why do we have to creep around? Don't we live here? I get why the other one has to creep around, but... And so are we supposed to think that, uh... All these other Those girls are just being experimented on. So if they already know they want this girl, I don't know why they would want all these other girls. We need to kill the lights. Okay, uh more running around in the dark. <gasps> now it's really dark. Oh. much time okay 
So I feel like maybe we're going to breeze right through this. This is like a really, really short game. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Jesus, I've been looking everywhere. What happened? Where did you go? Uh. I know. I know you're hiding something here. I'm not hiding anything. I've been looking for you. Just. Just tell me what happened. <gasps> well, that was unexpected. Yeah, we knew he was one of them, but dang. We need to move. We're putting all our eggs in this girl's basket here. She better not be leading us astray. You can't take any chances. You have to save your mother. You have to do whatever it takes. Take this. Promise me. If you need it. Use it. Uh. I promise. But we don't know where our mother is yet, do we? If this girl's too sick to go. We're going to blaze all the way through this game in one go. I'm afraid I won't have time to make a poll for the next game. So we might just play Unraveled 2 next because we already know what that's about. And I already have that game. Oh, my goodness. You can't be in here. Toby needs her treatment. Oh, okay, this isn't Please, the mother. Wake up. They're looking for you. They found a body in the garden. I think you might be unwell. Please, let me help you. Wake her up. No, Listen, dangerous. Nurse Ratchet. It's her treatment. You can't just pull her out. It takes time. Think of something. Once before the tube's out, she's going to start to fit. But I give her some epinephrine and cabinet. I'll have to put it straight in her heart. Toby! Run, Kirsty! <laughs> I shouldn't be here. I just couldn't leave Toby. We have to wake her up. You have to take the tubes out. Yeah. <laughs> Do something. Epinephrine in her heart. No, not oleander -y. Whatever. Okay, how do we do this? I hope we got the right one. Uh. Boom! to sneeze. Go. Oh. Be okay. 
wait for you. Okay, good. That was the choice I wanted. Except I would thank you. I was going to say get her out. I don't think this is a good idea. But I think this was the I need to go answer. Which is also works. We gotta go find our mother. If she's out here. Who is this guy? Oh. Erica. Uh oh. We're gonna have to shoot him. What's happened? It's me. Yeah, we know you're a bad guy. Please. You got my mom locked up back there. Put the gun down. Nope. I don't know about shooting this guy. What's happening? Whatever's happened, whatever's the matter, we can work it out. I promise. That's it. Just talk to me. Whatever you think is happening here, we can work this out. What's happening here? What are you hiding? This is a hospital. Yeah, no. Nothing more. That ship sailed a long time ago. Erica, please. This is not making any sense. Make all these girls think they're crazy. Serious gaslighting happening. I think you might be sick. I think you need help. You're lying. Why would I lie to you? Tell me that. Let me help you. That's all I ever wanted. You're dangerous. More dangerous than you know. I don't believe you. I believe anything you say. You don't have to believe me. You broke in here with a gun. But you're pointing right at me, contemplating murder. <laughs> I don't think this is the first time you've felt this way. I know it's real. There's something wrong with you. Bastard. Poison. Poison in your mind. It's been there, there a very long time. Gonna find out she killed her father? I don't believe it. <clears throat> Please. Uh oh. Trust me. No. I know we're going to have to make a choice here in a minute. Erica, it's in your head. Is it the key or a syringe in his hand? Yeah, you cannot tell me this is a regular hospital with all this freaky stuff going on.
Yeah, that didn't really help with the light, though, did it? Yeah, this is back to the very beginning. <coughs> oh, this thing I couldn't actually do. <laughs> I guess I did it a little better. Turn the fire up, man. Crank it up so we can see what's happening. Uh, burn Delphi. Breathe in. Oh, good point. Not breathing it in. But, you know, that just seems like, like we got a lot of people in here, so why would we want to burn it down? That seems horrible. All the other girls, <clears throat> but we didn't want to breathe it in either. I thought we were going to find our mom locked up back in there. I'm afraid we're going to find out she killed her parents or some horrible thing like that. <laughs> Throw it, keep it. Throw it. Well, they are happy. Yeah, there they are, so okay. I guess we think Hannah died or something. Her enemies burn, her mother rests in peace. Lost in smoke, her mentor disappears, Erica slips into the night. Well, that was very odd, I have to say. Okay, you guys. Uh, yeah, so a bit of a strange morning we had. Uh, I apologize for that. <laughs> this was a weird game, but certainly fit very well into the little bit of time we had left. So I think what we'll do is we will play Unraveled 2 starting tomorrow. And yeah, I right, exactly. I wouldn't have wanted to have another little weird bit left over into tomorrow's stream. So tomorrow morning, so this afternoon at 4 p.m. Central Standard, we'll be back with uh, Mad Max. And then tomorrow morning, exactly, I'm with you, Sunny. I wanted to know the end. I still don't really understand it, but okay. Uh, we'll be back with, uh, tomorrow morning, we'll start with Unraveled 2. And uh, we'll play through that game, and then we'll have a poll for the next indie game at the end of that, and I will try to make sure they're not this weird. <laughs> uh, let's see who's on that we can raid over to. I appreciate you hanging with me, uh, hanging with me, you guys, through this kind of weird adventure of this game. And I'm going to say of the three choices I gave you in the last poll, clearly you chose correctly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see who's on. Uh, you know what? Nobody really that we want to raid over to is on right now. So I'm just going to say I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, maybe I'll see you at 4 o'clock for Mad Max. Uh, we'll be on with Maruski later with No Man's Sky. Looking forward to that. And uh, yeah. See you for a little bit more normal game tomorrow morning. <laughs> Bye, everybody.